Hey everybody, John Losh here, aka the Losh Man, for Fulfill Your Ministry. It is uh, Wednesday, uh, July 20th, 2020, and it's about 1.13 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. And uh, the theme song you're hearing is Stephen Curtis Chapman's For the Sake of the Call, which was the theme song I had for a radio show by the same name, Fulfill Your Ministry that I had on uh, Carney Community Radio from December of 17 until uh, April of 2019. And I did almost 60 shows. And we're trying to get those played on the radio station I'm currently trying to work with right now, uh, Eternity Ready Radio, eternityreadyradio.com. And um, I will uh, turn this down so you can... Still here playing a little bit in the background, but still hear me at the same time. I'm trying to get my camera situated just right because I'm sitting here in my bedroom. My wife's working from home in our dining room, or otherwise I'd be sitting in there. So, anyway, um, basically, I, I did a video very similar to this um, back in uh, March of this year um, on YouTube, on Facebook, and I was hoping to uh, be able to download it and then um, put it on uh, YouTube here. But I'm, you know, it's more difficult uh, than the easier said than done, as the old saying goes. So basically, what is fulfill your ministry? Um, well, first of all, it's a passage in. Let me grab my Bible here. Sorry, it's a passage in the uh, one of Paul's epistles, and in this case, to his young disciple Timothy. And I'm going to read the New American Standard Version here uh, in Second Timothy chapter four. I'm going to read verses one through five. I solemnly charge you in the presence of God in Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, rebuke, re exhort, uh, re reprove, rebuke, exhort with all patience and instruction, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but uh, wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own uh, desires, which we are definitely seeing right now. We've been seeing that for a long time right now. And uh, we'll turn away their ears from the truth and we'll start, turn aside to this. But you be sober in all things, endure in hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. What's an evangelist? An evangelist is one who carries the good news. And that is my life first, 2 Timothy 4, 5. And um, it's, I, um, it's eventually going to be a blog that I'm going to have on WordPress um, I already have a WordPress account set up. I just need to start a blog uh, under Fulfill Your Ministry, which I will be doing probably this week. Um, and uh, I already have an email established. You can email me at fulfillyourministry81, fulfillyourministry81 at gmail.com. And uh, first of all, I accepted Jesus Christ as my, received Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior on December 13th, 1981 in an honor old gravel road. Uh, in Smithville, Missouri, led to Christ by my sister, who I didn't even know existed until I was 11. Uh, we were separated at a very early age. Long story there. Um, a song that I wrote the lyrics to. Um, I don't write music. I don't read sheet music, anything like that. But I've written the, I wrote the lyrics years ago. Um, will soon be put to music um, about that same experience called Down an Old Gravel Road. And, uh, and that's me. I'm being helped with that by my one of our my associate pastor, uh, Jerry Brees and his wife um, at uh, Solid Rock Bible Church uh, right now, 2501 Northeast Parvin Road, by the way, Kansas City, Missouri. And, um, you know, so anyway, but it's not about my story. It's really about what Christ did in and through me and continues to do in and through me today. It's about his grace, it's about his mercy. I didn't deserve to be saved. Uh, given forgiveness, being given eternal life, but I was, and I'm grateful for that uh, today and always will be for the rest of my life. And, um, you know, Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man opens, hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and be with him and he with me. And if he's knocking on your door today, I would encourage you to open that door and receive him and let him come in. Um, and then he will give you a new heart and a new mind spiritually. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things be, uh, become old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I mentioned that in, in 2 Timothy where he's telling Timothy that, you know, they will turn away their ears from the truth 
and they will turn aside to fables and they will heap under those those teachers according to their own desires. Well, today you've got alternative lifestyles. You've got people being offended by people saying that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. When Jesus did say, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes to the Father but through me. Okay, and so he is the only way to heaven. There are no other roads. There's no big scale in heaven. Gee, when you get up there, well, you've done so much good and you've done so much bad and, and we'll let you in because you did more good than bad. No, it doesn't work that way. The only question you will be asked when you stand before God is, what have you done with my son, Jesus Christ? And the only response that's going to work for you is, I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior on such and such date or at such and such place or time or whatever. And that is going to be the only thing. And that you have been forgiven of your sins. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means you. That means me. That means everyone that's ever been born on this earth. Because you go back to the Garden of Eden. Uh, we were born into sin. And uh, we unfortunately inherited the curse thanks to Adam and Eve. Uh, Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death, and that's not just the physical death of this body, but that is eternal separation from, from Jesus Christ in a very real place called hell, okay, that's still very real today, and don't think that, well, God's a loving God, he's not going to send people to heaven, no, the Bible says he will, that he has and that he will, okay, and you've got to believe, you know, you know what, folks, this is God's word, and it is truth from cover to cover. It's the inspired, authoritative uh, word of God. And you can argue and, oh, well, men wrote it. Well, yeah, men who were inspired the, uh, by, by the Holy Spirit. And God was not going to allow anything to be put into that book that was not supposed to be in there, uh, you know, by his instruction, by his anointing, by his spirit, things like that. So don't believe any of that bunk that people are trying to tell you today. People think with the alternative lifestyles. Oh, well, God's a loving God and he's OK with this and he's OK with that. No, he's not. You know, God destroyed two entire cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, back in the Old Testament. And there, the destruction of those two cities is repeated over and over and over and over again in Scripture. And you know what? When God uh, mentions things over and over and over again, he's saying stand up and pay attention because there's a lesson for you to learn here. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, and it's a, a really, like it's a radio show that I used to have from uh, December 17 until April of, of 2019 on Carney Community Radio. It's an, a, an album on my Facebook page under John W. Lodge's second. Now there's two John W. Lodge's seconds. It's the one that says Ecclesia Foundation or Eternity Ready Radio. I'm, my phone went out last uh, last July. It wasn't able to get back into my original Facebook, so I started another one. So it's the one that says Ecclesia Foundation or Eternity Ready Radio. It's an album on my Facebook page. Um, every every week right now, um, I've been I was teacher's assistant in my Sunday school class at uh, uh, Old Solid Rock Bible Church for some time, and I usually put a verse on the whiteboard there and sometimes discuss it with the class. First, it was just a verse that was out of my own uh, godly's on my own heart, just of my own choosing each week. But now I'm trying to make it about no matter who's teaching about the central focus of their their lesson for that week. I started teaching a few weeks ago. I, I'm now part of the teaching rotation. So, you know, trying to make it about whoever's teaching and whatever the central focus of their lesson or whatever is each week. I put a white verse up there and I call it the your, fulfill your ministry verse to live by. And uh, like I said, and eventually it's going to be a blog uh, called Fulfill Your Ministry as well. So I wanted to introduce that. And then I'll go on to start doing some devotions with you guys. We'll start discussing some different spiritual topics like we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about discipleship. We're going to talk about what that is. Um, where I'm going to show some books that uh, have been used by a church that I used to be in, the church that I'm in now, the similarities or differences between those. But they're both great material. You can use either one. Um, and, and basically what discipleship is all about. We're going to start doing some devotions on a regular basis and everything and uh, some regular spiritual topics, everything that we'll discuss. And so basically it, I'm hoping to come to you guys as often as possible. And because I, I go online a lot of times when I'm, I'm looking for my daily devotions I want to do, I go to websites, um, I go to, um, you know, YouTube, uh, and there are so many great sites out there and that I have benefited from. There's paper um, books. I mean, uh, you know, Charles Stanley, uh, with, uh, you know, in touch, he puts, he has a website. He also puts out a paper, uh, you know, devotional. You've got, uh, our daily bread. They have a radio show. They have a website, uh, but they also put out a paper, uh, devotional that we offer actually in our church. Um, and you've got the upper room that also has a website that also offers a, a paper uh, devotional, little bo devotional booklet that you can get. 
Um, and there are just so many different ones out there. And I'm thinking maybe at the end of each month, I will um, talk about uh, the different sites and the different places that I have benefited from as far as devotionals go on websites, YouTube, paperback stuff, you know, whatever. Um, and we'll start talking about, uh, you know, we may talk about what some of the stuff that I'm teaching or is being taught in our church, uh, Solid Rock Bible Church at the time, just all kinds of endless topics that we can get into and talk about um, as far as going out and fulfilling your ministry. What is God calling you to do? What gifts and talents has he given you? And then if you're not using those gifts and talents, get out and use those gifts and talents. Okay. He's given them to you for a reason. He didn't mean for you to sit back and not use them. And if you're looking for, if you're in the Kansas City area, uh, especially north of the river, if you're looking for a great church to come to, Solid Rock Bible Church, 2501 Northeast Parvin Road, Kansas City, Missouri, right across the street from Fire Station 6 and the Public Works uh, facility there, and uh, srbiblechurch.org. Uh, we have 915 Sunday School, 1030 Worship. We have um, services on uh, Sunday night. We have uh, men's breakfast on Wednesday morning. We have a, a Wednesday night uh, service and um, just lots of great stuff going on. There were a combined church that uh, is a result of Open Door Bible Baptist Church. It used to be just up the street at 4300 Northeast Parvin Road and Avondale Baptist Church having combined last year. And now we are in Avondale's facility at 2501 Northeast Parvin Road. Our pastors are Shane Stam, Jerry Brees, and uh, uh, Sam, I uh, can't get his name off the top. Anyway, but pastors, Shane, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Sam are our pastors. We have some great uh, Sunday school teachers as well. And um, a lot of our, our uh, people there, Pastor Shane's former Kansas City, Missouri police officer, um, and uh, one of our door greeters is another former Kansas City, Missouri police officer. Pastor Shane's wife and daughter are current Kansas City, Missouri police officers. We have one guy who used to be a trainer for the uh, Federal Reserve PD. Uh, I'm a former 12-year civilian with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. So we got lots of law enforcement uh, family there as well. So I feel very safe in our church for that reason. Um, but, uh, you know, not only that, it's just, it's a great group of people. It's a wonderful group of people that will uh, love you, encourage you, uh, worship you with you, study with you, pray with you, pray for you. Um, we have a, a, a Facebook page, Solid Rock Bible Church, and there's also a place on the uh, Facebook page for intercessions and prayer where you can go on there and ask for help or prayer or assistance or whatever. And I got to tell you, I've used that many times and help is never ever very far away once you've used that whether you need prayer um, my mower broke down once and i can't i'm sure you're gonna be able to do something with that every time but i'm i'm not mechanically inclined my mower broke down on me here a while back and i posted on there hey does anybody you know work on push mowers and pastor shane was over at my house within an hour fixing my my uh uh you know my mower i've seen him offer help to somebody with car repairs here just recently um i uh, i'm going to be doing hopefully a uh, table with Eternity Ready Radio at the Smithville Christian Family Day this Saturday, uh, July 25th uh, in Smithville, Missouri, uh, with Jeremiah Ferris, who is the actual owner of Eternity Ready Radio. And I asked if anybody had one of those like tent type uh, shade type covers and uh, Pastor Shane has one in his office. So I'm gonna be able to borrow that from him. Um, I'm in a situation where I need rides back and forth to church right now because I'm off on unpaid leave um, for a condition called Myclonus. Um, we don't know the cause yet uh, or the type of it or whatever. There's a huge history of Parkinson's and epilepsy and things like that in my family. Uh, it causes my upper body, my shoulders to shake violently and things like that. I've been off on unpaid leave since uh, June 1st, uh, not allowed to drive since June 15th, but that's okay. I, you know, my Sunday school, main Sunday school teacher, Pastor Bill, who is also very much like a father to me, has been getting me back and forth to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday uh, Wednesday morning for men's breakfast, Wednesday night, all that kind of stuff. So help is never very far away when you go to that part of our Facebook page. So anyway, that is Fulfill Your Ministry. Um, like I said, I will be doing a blog and we'll start discussing some different spiritual topics. I've already written one devotional that I want to do. We're going to talk about discipleship. Um, and things like that, and we'll start getting together here on a regular basis. So I hope you'll continue to join me. So go out there, fulfill your ministry. God bless. Again, John Losh, the Losh man, uh, and beloved, if I don't see you here, God bless. Stay in God's word. Stay in prayer. If you haven't accepted him, accept him today. If I don't see you here, I will see you in the air. Thank you.